Mood Magic by Orin North. For like the first few pages, I thought those, this was called Moon Magic, but <laughs> Mood Magic. Wellness spells and rituals to find balance in an uncertain world. So, for the most part, this is working with the four elements earth, water, fire, or earth, fire, water, air. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so it's working with. So, if you are an elemental witch or somebody who does like incorporating the elements in a way in their practice. This can be um, a helpful um, an addition to the resources that you have, but um, but it can be good for anybody who wants uh, reference for wellness spells or rituals as well. So you don't have to be an ele elemental witch, but um, know that in beforehand you are getting um, information and stuff about the elements. It's not full-on elements. You get like an introduction to the elements. Um, in some capacity, but if you do want full-on information about the elements, there is the Llewellyn Elemental um, Elements of Witchcraft series and a lot of books have chapters and stuff about them. But so it goes into things like grounding, writing your intentions, why intention matters. So like those are kind of like the basics ground like um basics of like to do um a lot of spells and rituals to know why you're doing this and to ground yourself and not just like um I don't know what I was going to say there but um the author does have grounding and does talk about grounding and intention because those are those can be glare That's going to be annoying. Uh, but yeah, so your personal and goes through your personal connection with the four elements. So it goes into like pre-existing positive and pre-existing negative. And then you get like a little paragraph, not a paragraph, but like bullet points about the elements, which I believe I have a screenshot of and I'll show. If I do, um, you get... Um, talk, um, the author does talk about altars, um, in an element, too much or too little of an element, and creating your own spell. So, you got, like, simple grounding for everyday stability. So, like, usually the spells or rituals are, like, in a different, like, font or, like, size to... Um, the information, um, but in this case, like with the pre-existing positive and negative, it is in the same font. So yeah, this is as much like kind of like correspondence type of thing to this, to the elements you'll get. Um, touching that element spell for an elemental connection, so connecting with the elements. Ritual for positive water, negative water, um, and so later on when you get to the signs, so you get signs and symptoms of too little or too much. Um, so little things you can do to bring more water into your space, little things you can do to remove excess water in your space. So too much and then to remove the it. So like you got soothing spells for peace and healing. So it's like kind of like an introduction to what you'll see. 
Intentional weeping ritual for emotional release. The jar ritual for focusing and releasing feelings. So you get a few different types of um, spells and rituals. Um, boundaries ritual, ritual for high anxiety mania. And so, and going through creating, and so she has like a step-by-step -step type of thing to create your own spell. But it's a good book for bringing in the elements in some way. And um, so if you want, so if you are the type of person who's one, liking to work with the elements and wanting these types of um spells, this can be a really great jumping off point for you. And I might actually be copying one or two of these spells for myself and try. So maybe I'll actually get to them. But yeah, um, mood magic, happy readings.